Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around, I have a whole bunch of 6th uh, gen video game pickups to show you guys. Um, all these are PS2 and original Xbox games, as well as a couple of Game Boy Advance games. Um, and some of these as well are going to be just uh, empty cases, and that kind of sucks, but whatever I can get is still good. Uh, so I'm going to start out with this one set of games here. Pretty much I went to the Salvation Army that I usually go to after a period of about three to four weeks of not having gone there. Only to find that there were a bunch of games that I would have really liked to get, but the discs were stolen. And that really sucks. At that Salvation Army... I pretty much have to be there right when the games come out or else they risk being stolen and that again really sucks. Uh, now basically this day I went and I was looking for games. Uh, the first game I found was there and it's a game I already have so I grabbed it um, thinking I'd probably trade it for something else. Uh, and the rest of these I went ahead and asked if I could have the cases or if I could purchase them. Um, and the manager said that she could give them to me for 25 cents a piece, so I went ahead and grabbed them. So the one and only game that I got that day is the Dukes of Hazard: Return of the General Lee. I've had like three or four copies of this game now. Um, I keep uh, trading off or selling copies of this game uh, and uh, buying something else in return. Uh, this one here was in pretty good condition, if I remember. Yeah, like absolutely zero scratchers on it. Uh, comes with a manual, um, and I paid four dollars for that. Um, and then I also grabbed all these cases, um, and I believe all of them came with manuals as well. But all these for twenty-five cents a piece. Um, one is a PS2 game. It's Enter the Matrix. Um, I think that one. Yeah, this one didn't have the manual. But I got that, and. The rest are Virtual Pool Tournament Edition, uh, 007 Nightfire, and these ones uh, made me a little sad to see missing, uh, X-Men Legends and X-Men Legends 2, and the last one is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, now this one had the manual in it at least, but I could have traded this for something else that that I don't have that I would have really uh, liked to get because this one here at least here in Toronto trades for a lot but oh well what can you do um, next up uh, I got these games at a couple different stores um, I found Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball for the uh, original Xbox at a local thrift store that's just around the corner from where I live uh, and it's missing the manual but it was only three dollars so it wasn't that bad um, and at the value village I found uh, a complete copy of uh, Grand Theft Auto sorry Grand Theft Auto San Andreas for the original Xbox uh, sorry that was uh, $4.99 and I don't remember if I have it on the original Xbox um, if I do already have it then I'm gonna go ahead and trade that if I don't, then uh, go to another one for the collection. Uh, now, on another day at the Salvation Army that I usually go to, I found these games in uh, mixed with the DVDs. And usually, if they put video games with the DVDs, they get stolen. Uh, almost immediately, they get stolen. Um, they have a spot right next to the register where they usually keep... Um, video games and uh, TV shows on like DVD and like Blu-ray discs, stuff like that, uh, that in their minds is worth a little bit more. Uh, they keep them by the register, <sighs> but every so often video games get mixed in with the DVDs and then once they do, they get stolen. Um, but I was lucky enough to find these two. Uh, first up is Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life Special Edition, but this one here was missing the manual and I honestly do not remember uh, if I have this already, I know I definitely have it on the GameCube or Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, not special edition, not entirely certain, but, um, 
come to think of it, I might have this. I just, I don't remember at this point. And the other game I was more uh, excited to find and happy that it was in uh, much better condition. I got this for four ninety nine. Also, is uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms uh, eleven. Um, I haven't uh, gotten too into the uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms series, but I mean that day I was just I was I was kind of pissed for. Uh, going over to the uh, Value Village I usually go to and not finding anything, like, nothing that even sort of crossed my mind that I should purchase. Like, there was just absolutely nothing that I could even remotely be interested in. And then I go to the Salvation Army, and after flipping through a couple of things, seeing things were stolen, eventually finding this, I was like, thank God I found something decent. Uh, but yeah, I... Definitely was going to grab that when I saw it. Uh, now, before I get to the Game Boy Advance games, there are these two games here. Uh, basically, the story behind these is uh, I went to a friend's housewarming party, and I'm assuming what happened exactly is um, he and his girlfriend either had stuff that, uh, like, they had doubles of certain things, uh, or he was just trying to get rid of a couple of games. Uh, he, he was basically getting rid of a bunch of uh, video games and DVDs. And there were a couple movies I wanted to uh, possibly grab from, from the uh, boxes of stuff. But there were other people there that were more interested in those movies. So I just, I didn't say anything. I let them go for it. Uh, but I went ahead and grabbed these two games, definitely going right into my collection. Uh, both PS2 games. Uh, the first one here is Ico. Uh, and it was complete and in very good condition. And the other one is RPG Maker 2. Um, now, apparently my friend told me that uh, there is like a pre-made game in this already like uh, once you put in the disc there's already like an option there uh but you basically can make whatever you want as well um i know that the first one is on the uh, ps1 and then the next two so two and three are on the ps2 but i just i know very little about this series i know there's also other um games in this series like uh i think there's like a fighting game maker i don't know what it's called exactly maybe fighter maker or fighting game maker but whatever it is it's a game where you make a fighting game uh but yeah to get both of those for the collection is uh great for me especially uh since they're coming from a friend uh they're both definitely staying in my collection now to get to the game boy advance games uh and the reason why i kept these for the end they're um pretty decent ones and I got a pretty decent deal on them as well uh, but to show you guys this first um, a little while back I went to Iceman uh, it's a video game store here in Toronto and I traded in some stuff and I got um, Kirby Rainbow Curse I believe is what it's called um, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Yeah, uh, I got that game, and uh, I had an, a remaining ten dollars of credit, and I didn't know what to get really. So I was looking around. I saw this uh, this uh, Game Boy Advance game. It's Dragon Ball Z uh, Taiketsu. I haven't tried it out yet, so I don't know what kind of game it is. I don't know if it's going to be a fighting game or if it's going to be a game like Legacy of Goku. Uh, if any of you out there know, please let me know. I could just test it now, but I don't think I'll be getting around to playing it anytime soon. Um, and these last three games here in these uh, Mad Cats uh, colored cases that sort of link together, um, I got them at my local thrift store that's uh, just down the street from me. Um, that day, I wasn't even going to go um, to the thrift store. Basically, I went uh, down the corner uh, to the next street over to uh, pay my tuition for school at the bank. And uh, 
basically, I thought, you know what? I have a feeling I'm going to go over to the thrift store, take a look, see if there's anything there. And basically, to my uh, delight, surprise, shock, uh, there were actually games uh, there. Um, not to say that there aren't usually games. Usually they have a ton of games, but there were actually some good ones there uh, for once. Um, there was one other game there as well, but I left it behind when he told me that they would be $4 each. Uh, but I thought definitely for these games, $4 each is a decent price. And I double-checked them. Uh, they're all official, and they all work just fine, so I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, the first game here is Sonic Advance 3, which is the least of the three of these games. Uh, the next one is Pokemon Leaf Green. And I just dropped the cases. Uh, and the last one is Pokemon Emerald. Uh, now, both of these Pokemon games I have, I've played, I've completed, I've restarted that one. Um, I restarted that one as well much later on. Um, so basically, I've played both of these to hell. And I already have my original copies of them, so these are definitely going to go up for trade or to sell or whatever. Um, I'm definitely not going to be holding on to these because buying them for $4 each, you pretty much get it right away. Then I'm just going to try to get rid of those, try to get something else in return. Um, but yep, that's what I got. A whole bunch of games, pretty decent deals there. A whole bunch of extra cases, uh, which kind of sucks considering the games I missed out on. Um, I wish I could be uh, more on top of my game, but life comes in the way of video games, um, as life should take priority over uh, video games. And sometimes you miss out on things, and who knows, maybe eventually I will find those games and uh, get to find complete copies of them. Uh, anyways, that's it. That's all I got. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And that's it. See ya.